How you doing? This is George Senda, the guy from Pittsburgh. Well, I'm going to talk a little Trump, a little personal news, a little Joe Scarborough, and let you know what's going on. I've been really sick for the last week with a sinus infection and brought on by allergies. We had all this rain here, and um, the brown grass that was saving me from allergy attacks turned green again. The evil grass. I'm allergic to grass. And then there's these almond trees that flower white or apple trees I don't know what the hell there are but that makes me sick as a dog as well so between that and the back problem I've been just doing not much I have to do it now because I get the dreaded housing inspection in a week but I feel like crap every day with the, the stuff coming out of my nose and stuff and you probably won't see any videos till well, not next month, but uh, I had a second chicken account that kept overdrawing me because my bank would charge me 30 bucks, 35 bucks for each NSF. And they had a thing where if I didn't do debit for 10 bucks, they'd overdraw me. And they did that for about four months. That's to put me in a hole every month. It's part of the reason I couldn't pay my internet bill. So on Tuesday, I go to Oakland, pawn this iPad to pay the internet bill. Try to find find out where the other iPad is. I haven't seen it since October when I came home from Sacramento with my back causing me to scream in agony and my knee. So as soon as I find that, I'll do videos. But uh, as soon as you, that's why what I want to let the people know what's going on. I am not really awake. I'm, I woke up this morning sleeping at the opposite end of the bed, which I never do. So... I, I'm really wiped out from lack of sleep and just all this craziness. Okay, Donald Trump. Well, he says he's going to eliminate profanity. That's a good idea. There's no reason to start swearing at people. Uh, I wish he'd toned down some of the uh, interruptions and like he did the debate, kept interrupting people, call them liars. Well, I think they are liars. I think Rubio lies. I think Jeb Bush lies. I looked up. Jeb books economics about Florida, and the Florida economy went collapsed after he left office, and the previous four governors had a better economic record than he did. So I don't think Jeb Bush tells the truth. I wouldn't trust him, and I don't trust Rubio because he keeps saying he's not for amnesty when it's on the record he was. So um, that's about it. And Joe Scarborough, they're making a big deal about Joe Scarborough. He's a financial guy. He's a friend of Trump. He gives Trump advice. Who cares? Let him give Trump advice. Do they complain if somebody gives Hillary advice or uh, Bernie Sanders advice? Hell no. But because it's Trump, they're all over him. And every time Trump does, he analyzes every move, just like the haters online analyze, analyze my every move. You know, I was reading the video, watching a video by Glenn and Cameron, and he talks about the haters. And he said, I don't care about the haters. Well, I don't care about them either, but they're just an annoyance. And he said, people are going to hate me no matter what I do. If I'm successful, they hate me. If I make money, they hate me. If I do videos, they hate me. But you know what? They still watch the videos. And that's how I feel. The idiot haters on a certain board watch my videos and comment on every nuance. And then they go back for months and repost old videos and Photoshop them. Because they, deep down, have nothing substantive to do in their lives other than to bitch and complain. All right, the board behind me, that thing fell down. So uh, I, it kept falling off the bookshelf, and it's too damn heavy to, to uh, have sit up there. So I'm going to have to get an easel or something and maybe just get something smaller. I like my uh, The Truth Is Out There poster. So, all right. So this is mostly just to let you know what's going on. Uh, my head feels fuzzy all the time from this stuff. And today I'll be getting up and working on the living room. I let everything go for six weeks. And then Kathy's staying here again. And she messes up her side of the bed. She's in her own apartment finally. But now she's complaining about the apartment. The woman's never happy. She says it's too small. She has no car. We lost somehow our Prius key after it stopped working a week ago. So now we're going to go out and buy another Prius key. That might cost us $300.
it's always something. And the uh, Mac behind the iPad here, of course, I got to get a new fan. I don't know what that's going to cost. Probably 100 bucks. This is why I ask people for donations, and it's not begging. I'm hurting for money, and it costs me money to fix all this stuff. And if I do that, I can't pay other things. The haters, I'm a grifter and all that other bullshit. There, there's a word for you, bullshit. That whole, whole thread is full of posts by people who do nothing but bullshit. And I'm not Donald Trump, I'll say it. I don't like to say it. That's not how I am. I'm not mean or vindictive, mostly. And uh, Area 51 drone and I are talking again. But I told him, I don't want to do a podcast with you because you divulge personal information about me. And I can't trust you, drone. Uh, I like you, but I can't trust you. And uh, I told you to leave this stuff in confidence, and you d- decide on another stupid, silly war. So uh, I'm not at war with anybody. I'm too tired, too aching. Uh, Wednesday, too, Wednesday, I go in for my MRI on my back to find out what's wrong with that so they can give me something for the pain and the uh, seizures I'm having make my legs move, my foot go dead. I don't have time to deal with wars. And uh, only war we need to do is make sure we have another conservative in the Supreme Court. I mean, Antonin Scalia, rest in peace, a great jurist and a great defender of the Constitution and our Second Amendment rights, without which the government could take over at any time and the people would be defenseless. We've seen it happen in Germany, Russia, Australia, they have almost no guns and they're having criminal chaos down there because nobody can defend themselves. England, the same thing. They have guns, but the criminals have better guns than the police. Just had a story today, a guy went on a gun, they said three guns, went on Arkansas campus with a shotgun. They caught the guy, but they were on lockdown. So another incident. Nuts with guns showing up at schools. What's the fascination with schools? I don't get it. I guess because they're defenseless, that's why. If everybody had concealed carry, you wouldn't be having these things. Guy comes out with a gun, they just say, fuck it, and blow them away. Protect themselves. Number one thing you got to do is protect yourself. Prepare, stockpile, and protect your own life. All right, I will catch you later. I got stuff to do here. Uh, But if you don't hear from me, I'll go to the library, do emails to the people I talk to, and um, get the other iPad out, get my iPad bill get my iPad out and pawn shop as soon as I can and get the Mac fixed and pay my internet bill. By the way, I found out that I got higher speed internet. That's why my bill is so expensive, but I never paid attention to it. I just paid partial payment every month for four months. My internet bill alone is 80 bucks a month. So now you know. All right. And uh, by the way, the guy... Glennon Cameron, the only guy I know on the internet that gives you free financial advice, free access to his books and other things, and some of the advice he gives about how to make money in storage auctions and different things is great. And how to do things online is great. He's got, I don't know, it must be 1,500 videos. He's the reason I started doing these. And uh, I'm going to call him up and get some advice one day, and he'll give it to me for free because he knows me. He likes me, and I like him. He's a great guy. I wish I could meet him, but he's in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, that's it. I'm done. And I only have an hour in this Comcast thing, so I probably won't be doing another video today. But I'll try to get somehow to get back on the net in the next two weeks and do another video. But I don't know how I'm going to do it. If I find the other iPad, pay my bill, I'll be back on the air. Bye-bye.